Hello everyone, my name is I'm Dipti Kimbo. Today, I'm going to have a book review about the Lorax. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the audience that I'm aiming for in this book review are the adolescents. Because at this stage, these children tend to be more adventurous and tend to do many things that they don't really think about the consequences. And I think the author and I are in the same boat. This book tells about the current situations of the adolescents in the modern world. The book is composed of genres of family, friends, and adventure, and also fantasy, which fits perfectly for the audience that I'm aiming for. For me, the book was somewhat hard to read because of the written expressions that the author included. For example, the smokety schmuck or the glopety glop. But all in all, it's easy to read. The story will get you hooked up in the middle, I'll tell you that. You will find yourself worried and really cared for the characters in the story. The plot of the story really talks about the real life scenarios of the adolescents in our modern world. The dialogue of the story was not really believable because of the written expressions that and the characters' names that the author included. And also, the way that the author tells the story is always in a poetic way. However, the events that happen in the story is awfully close to the real world scenario if the story was taken hypothetically. There is a certain quote in the story with one word in it. It is called unless, which gave a very big impact on me. It means that the damage could not have been huge unless it was taken care of and protected. The one word quote also goes with the saying, prevention is better than cure. The story relates the dialogues to the illustrations that the story gives. And it also gives a significant help to the readers to understand the story. As I am reading the book, I noticed that the author's voice in the story is in a comedic tone, wherein the author relays the story in a jolly voice. However, the purpose of the author in writing this story is serious and really thinks about the current situations of the adolescents which is to make the adolescents think about the consequences before taking action. And for me, I think the author's purpose was accomplished. Dr. Seuss for me is the most suitable person to write this book because ever since in college, he was already a writer of their humor magazine and has been a professor but still writes this kind of books. In addition, since he was a professor, he communicates directly to the adolescents which means he has a clear view of the current situation of the adolescents in the modern world and applies it in this book. Basically, this book has no bibliography. This book has similarity to the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, wherein the Goldilocks is doing whatever she wants, not thinking about the situations of the Three Bears. For the moral lesson of the story, no matter how big or small your action is, always think about the consequences. Because it could lead to a great chain of good events. Otherwise, it could be a terrible and horrific chain of events. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you did, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot. And if you're having thoughts about the book, share your thoughts with me in the comment section down below. And as always, stay safe. Peace! Tell <laughs> some... Sam, Sam, Sam. Ayaw, dok-dok ka, man.